episode. In today's episode, I'll film a review of this beast, which is a Volkswagen up. So, first of all, I want to say that uh, this car is a bit too dirty because the last week was like crazy and stuff and the weather hasn't been as beautiful as today is so this is my wife's car a Volkswagen up from 2013 it is a city car it's a small car it has the uh, 1.0 MPI engine, which is a petrol engine, a natural aspirated one, made by Volkswagen. Okay, so first things first, I don't know much about these engines because I never was a, a, a true fan of uh, the Volkswagen brand. But what I do know is those MPI engines are very reliable if you take good care of them um, the uh, fuel economy is pretty darn good as well um, okay it's a small car it's many of you may found it a bit dull but it's okay mm. on the inside sorry again for the mess on the inside we see plastic everywhere it's like plastic plasticky plasticky plasticish plastic plastic those seats seem to be like sort of a, a, che um, a cheap recaro <laughs> a poor man's recaro or something like that okay but i think they're pretty good for a stock a basic car so inside the cabin let's take a closer look so the dashboard looks like this it's mostly 99.9% .9 mostly plastic a hard plastic the doors too, plastic everywhere, you see, plastic, 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 plastic. Oh. So, the thing is, I never understood how come a car made in 2013, it's, it's, a, it's a basic model, it, as you see, it hasn't many options it's like basic the basicest of all it's like having nothing in a car uh, the car wasn't equipped with uh, AC not even a manual one the car wasn't equipped with electric windows so there's nothing 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 just a bold the dull simple basic Anyways, but the uh, previous owner opted for this, which is a navigation system with multiple functions as well. I mean, oh, hey, Junie, Junie. I mean, buying a car, which was like $15,000 or something like that, brand new and you don't have electric windows, you don't have a manual AC, you don't have nothing, just a simple car, not even the door handles are in, in the car's uh, color, but it's fine with me, it isn't my car, so yep, there's plastic everywhere, plastic, plastic, I mean, that's why this is the the main reason that i don't like volkswagen cars at all it's because if you want to buy a um, 
a medium packed car you have to pay for all of those features like AC like like um, I don't know even for the uh, navigation system mm. Fifteen thousand dollars for a car that the, the price was was a bit too 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 high I'm afraid for this car I think many of you know that there are out there many many car many car that you could look out for especially at this price uh, price range because as you may know it's 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 2020 and i don't think it's fair that cars nowadays aren't equipped with ac or with uh, those electrical windows it's like fred flintstone's car anyways um i think it's a good looking car for it's a good looking car for city use it's a it's a she's car definitely but i enjoy driving it the car has like 65 horsepower it's as i've mentioned before it has a 1.0 petrol engine mpi it's actually 990 cubic centimeters it's not so powerful engine the uh, fuel consumption is great. Okay, so let me show you guys the fuel economy. Oh, so here it is. I don't know if there are many choices out there, especially at this uh, price range, because being a 2013 car and uh, its price is less than 3,000 euros it's a pretty darn good deal mm. this is it this is the car this is it And one more thing, you want to open the window, but oops, there's no buttons, no nothing. Boom, check this out, boom. I mean, come on, what is this? That's it? Seriously? That's it. This is how you open a car in 20, 20. <laughs> nice. Well done, Volkswagen. Well done. Yep. This is it. So, a short recap. If you have, if your budget is between let's say two two thousand and eight hundred bucks and four thousand i think probably you should go for this model because it's a uh, 2012 model it's not that old do i recommend the diesel engines for this car i don't know i haven't tried one yet but this is pretty decent, those uh, petrol engines. Stay away for the uh, TSI models. I don't know if, if they, they uh, equipped this up with TSIs. I think there's only MPI and TDI. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed my short review of this car. If you want to see a bunch of I don't know other cool stuff let me know in the comments section down below you may ask me anything and that's it for today so see ya bye bye